of the things that came up is a gentleman asked a legitimate question about, well, should I go with OFC or CCA Wire? And I know you and Dean, and I know you do, because you, you just trolled the guy. And yeah. it was just like, oh, yeah, def definitely, you know, definitely CCA, CCA. Yeah. And I'm in the feed. Yeah. You, could, you could see my head was I exploding. Remember. Yeah, we and know, I'm like, you melted down. It was, <laughs> it was a full kit meltdown. And uh, you, the problem is you let me and Dean see that. And you already know me and Dean are, are a bit of trolls anyway. Oh, yes. So once we seen that, it was like, I, had, I looked in his eye, he looked in my eye, and we knew exactly what was going down. So, so they definitely had some fun with me that night. And so I'm there in that feed, and I'm trying to, because this guy took it as legit info. He's like, oh, okay, I'm going to go get me some. <laughs> I'm CCA. And I'm like, no, yeah. guys, stop. And so I was just going on that because, you know, we've done two shows, uh, The Science of Wire. Yeah. Which there's a lot of, there's really a lot of great things that I think came out of those two shows. It, I think it, uh, it caused us to um, focus on our amplifier design yeah. and what we do for design, which I think we need to do an even deeper show on that sometime in the future. And that was based off of how long the amplifier dynos are running. But legitimately, the, the reason we did those shows, and you're an accessory guy. I mean, you're into accessories, you're into wire. Yeah. And I know you're not into CCA, although you wear that badge proudly. Right. But it's, guys, it's not that we have anything. Uh, I mean, you can use CCA if you want to. What we're trying to show and prove in those two episodes we did is that a single run of one gauge of that wire versus the same gauge in copper cannot do the same thing. Uh, if you're going to use CCA wire, you got to at least go up two and a half times, which means run two and a half strands more of the CCA versus just running copper to begin with. So when you look at the extra space you're taking up, when you look at the extra money you got to pay because now it's two, strand, two and a half runs instead of one, you're really not saving space, you're really not saving money. And if you watched either of those episodes, you saw the difficulties that we had getting power supplies and things to stay on and operational reliably because they were trying to use CCA wire versus copper. On the copper test, every single time, it just kept yeah. going. Just well, the, the thing about power is if you don't get it from one point to the other efficiently, it turns into heat. Power is always heat. So when you run over CCA, it's going to get hot no matter what you do. It's going to get hotter in copper. First, I will say that I do like the Kicker kits. I actually done a review of the one out kit, and yeah, it is a little more than some of the other ones, but it's nice. It's got TechFlex on there, they're already crimped, you know, stuff like that. As far as accessories, I will say the CCA thing, some people don't know that that's a joke. And the one important lesson, take 12V talk seriously, kick around mass seriously. Reverse polarity, don't take that show seriously. If you know me and Dean at all, don't take that show seriously. We, we did those tests, and again, it's not about brand, guys. It's about we truly want you to get the best performance out of whatever you're using, and we're so adamant about it. I mean, first off, if you buy a kicker wire kit, we don't do CCA at all. Everything we do is 100% oxygen-free copper. Uh, the difference is if you get one of our value kits, it's just 100% oxygen-free copper. If you step up to the Highline kits, it's 100% oxygen-free copper that's then tin-plated, which tin-plating gives you that additional corrosion resistance that you have to have if you're going to use our wire in any type of a uh, salt marine environment or marine, or if you even take that step back under the hood of your car. Uh, if you want to keep that wire from corroding away and turning green and doing things, the tin plating is what allows you to do that. So we just know uh, our warranty department has seen it time and time again. If you run the right gauge and the right wire, your problems with your amplifiers and other electronics are much, much less. And we're just trying to help you guys out so you can understand that and get the best performance out of whatever gear you're putting your money into. And I think some people get tinned OFC wire confused with CCA. I've seen it a lot. You can tell by the weight. You hold a roll of one out CCA versus a roll of one out copper, and it's instantly immediate. You can feel the difference. And if you pick up wire and it feels lighter than it's supposed to be, it's probably CCA. Here, I'm going to just, since you brought this up, you know, this is obviously Andy McGill. And anyone who doesn't know Andy, he, he is a kicker fan, but he's also a true uh, car audiophile. Uh, he's about helping people make sure they get the best performance out of anything they're using. You know, his comment here, kicker's wire is one of the most flexible out of the bunch, Rob tested. Take the guessing game out and run kicker wire. Um, you know, thanks for that shout out, Andy. Uh, the thing is, we do have very flexible wire. It is 100% OFC copper. It is tin plated. It's good stuff. Um, the one thing you do get if you're buying a kicker amplifier and if you use a kicker wire kit at the same time, if they're on the same receipt, we're so confident that running the right wire and the right gauge of wire is an improvement that we extend our amplifier warranties out to three years if you have a kicker amplifier with a kicker wire kit. It's because we've seen the data on the backside is that more of that stuff comes back if it's on improper gauge wire or 
CCAR. Right. Hey, I really like the marine kits because you get an equal length run. So in you know these new vehicles, you're not going to find a good ground. Just run at power and ground same time. That's a, <laughs> that's a Dean tip right there.